G'day everybody, it's your boy Agent 47 here, and welcome to the beautiful city of Dubai, where right now I'm currently perched atop the tallest building in the entire galaxy, the majestic Burj Al Ghazali. Now I know you're probably wondering how the hell I got here, and yes, your assumptions are 100% correct. I obviously airdropped in without a parachute directly from the International Space Station, where I just finished delivering a steaming hot side serving of takeaway death. You see, things have been pretty rough lately at the ICA, and I've been doing some Uber Eats stuff as a side hustle, but anyway, here I am now, and I'm here with one goal and one goal only. And that goal is murder. Yes, murder. And I'm not just here to kill one man, but I'm here to kill two. The only activity that's precisely two times better than killing one. Though there's every possibility that literally everyone else except myself ends up dead anyway. Oh well. Anyway, before going into specifics about this mission, I feel like my first order of business is to get into this building. And as you can see by me kicking this toolbox off the ledge right here, this certainly isn't a mission for beta bitch pussy boys. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mission for real men. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? Whoa, 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 Diana. I don't know what you've been doing, but you do be sounding kind of sexy in Hitman 3. Anyway, I better do as Diana said. Pull my camera out, scan this lock right here, and let her unlock the window for me. Thanks, Dai Dai. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. Oh, I'm really digging Diana's new voice. This is great. Oh, sick dollar. All right, well, I guess this is where I put my plan into action. Burj Al Ghazali, here I come. Wait, 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 hold on a second. This is not my signature. What the hell is this? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> That's much, much better. So yes, like I mentioned, I've got two targets on this mission that I need to take down. The first one being right there and the other one being right over there. One of them goes by the name of Marcus Stuyvesant, wanted on multiple counts of looking like an Italian dad that went on vacation to the Haven Islands, only to have a midlife crisis and come back looking like Robocop. And the other is Carl Ingram, who's old and should probably be dead by now, but for some reason isn't, so I'm going to help him with that. Now, unfortunately, the Hitman 3 randomizer mod isn't a thing yet, but I've still managed to sneak in a couple of cheeky toys with me to help me get the job done. I've got my ICA-19 pistol that's highly illegal, just the way I like it. I've got three good old-fashioned coins, my handy-dandy fiber wire, and last but not least, my adorable little digital camera that's not only good for hacking my way into windows and doors, but perfect for taking shots of the dead bodies of the people I've killed. Speaking of which... <laughs> Oh god. Now seeing as I know absolutely nothing about Dubai, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to kick off the mission by scouting things out a little bit, exploring, looking for fun, interesting and exciting items that I can steal, put in my pockets and then use to brutally murder my targets and probably brutally murder this guy because I like his outfit and I wouldn't mind wearing it. I'm married. Hold on, wait, what? You're married? Just wanted to say. Well, there goes all my hopes and dreams. You don't find this awkward? Because I find it very awkward. <laughs> I find you awkward, lady. Oh my god, Barack Obama? <laughs> Is that you? So as I head over here, I've got a bar covered in beautiful cake, champagne, strawberries dipped in chocolate. Oh god, are the kinky things that I could do with you. What do you reckon? You down? Oh, oh. I think that might be a boyfriend. <laughs> Excuse me, just going to uh, borrow these coins right here. I just, I'm a collector. Collect coins. Pretty much everything else that's not <laughs> stuck to the ground. All right, mate, so I feel like I should probably confess something. I'm absolutely terrified of heights and I've got no idea why I'm here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, man. Cornelia, don't go. Okay, well, I've got no idea who these two ladies are, but uh, there's a glass here that I can poison. And according to my map right there, it looks like Diana's left a little something something directly below me. Oh, it looks like the bartender's preoccupied. Booyah. I'm in. Oh, God, I haven't thought this far ahead. Now that I'm in, what do I what do? I do? What do I, what do I do? I don't, I don't know, I guess I kill a man. Sorry, I panicked. Oh, rat poison. And I guess now I'm a member of the staff. <laughs> Seems legit. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm entirely unfamiliar with the map of Dubai, though it looks like it differs from the other maps in the Hitman franchise in that it's not particularly wide, but it's a bunch of relatively small spaces stacked on top of each other. As a matter of fact, from the main floor where I terrorized all of those innocent people and pushed that lady off the balcony, there are five floors above and one below. But just looking at all of these different levels and how they stack up directly on top of each other, I can't help but wonder if maybe there's a way to scale the outside side of the building to get to locations that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get to. Oh well, who cares? <laughs> fire axe. Uh oh. Oh wait, hold on, I, I'm staff. I just drop the fire axe and I'll walk out. Oh no, he knows I'm not staff. Oh, of course he does. It's bloody Barack Obama again. Well, it looks like Barack Obama's going Craig David style and walking away and I'm heading in here to- Oh god, why does everyone know that I don't work here? That's fine, it's not going to stop me from stealing literally everything. <laughs> in this room. Burj Al Ghazali stuck. Oh, epic. Oh, there it is. Good old fashioned bottle of emetic poison. Thanks, Dai Dai. <laughs> Look how hairy this guy's back is. Bro, can I take you home with me? 
I need a new carpet. It's just so embarrassing. Stop being a little bitch. How sweet. Locker key, which I assume is for this locker right here. Oh, can of <laughs> can of soda and some more emetic. God, God, God damn it. What did I just say? God, 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 God damn it. The hell does that mean? I mean, have a look at my inventory right now. I've got a gun. I've got some soda, whiskey, blueberry muffins, various sharp objects, a digital camera, a coin, a wrench in case I want to fix the sink, a whole bunch of medic. Ra oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at all of this medic poison. <laughs> Seems like the recipe for a good time to me. Oh, wait, hold on just a second. Now that I'm a waiter, I should be able to pour poison in this person's red wine without anyone thinking I'm sus. I mean, I, I guess it kind of blends in with the drinks that are actually green. Like, you can, you can hardly tell the difference. It's the same. Oh, sorry, you're, you're waiting for a drink. My bad. I think I might have poisoned the wrong glass. God damn it. Poison whiskey. Well, it's a good thing I've got enough emetic rat poison to wipe out <laughs> every rat on the planet. Nothing sus, bro. My friend, Cornelia Stuyvesant. Wait, hold on just a second. Did she just say Cornelius Stuyvesant? And one of my targets is called Marcus Stuyvesant, meaning that this lady to him is his... His daughter. Well then, I guess you must die too. Hold on, white lady. Are you, are you... Oh my god. Bro, this lady is cultural appropriating. What the hell? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's my... What the... What the hell is he doing here? So I'm guessing that the reason he didn't walk in to speak to his daughter Cornelius is because this culturally appropriating lady is here. So let's kill her. A little bit more emetic rat poison in this cup right here. Which <laughs> just got a whole bunch of steaming green glasses all over the place. Oh, an apple. Oh, you know what they say. An apple a day keeps the FBI away. That's what I always say. Won't keep the doctor away though. I've got a feeling that you're going to wish you're at the doctor any time, any minute, any moment, any second now. Let me through. Oh. Oh, I'm just a little bit of sick in my mouth. Oh, Mom's gonna come. Oh my god, her back is covered in crack coquinas. Oh, well, she's on the phone to someone. What's the bet that- Dad. Oh. Oh. She do be looking kind of. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, just a moment, please, sir. I'm just adding the uh, the secret recipe. All right, great. It's ready. Enjoy. Bottoms up. Mmm, how does that taste? Good? One minute, I'm- Oh, no. This is not happening. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, everybody. Severe case of diarrhea coming through. So I've got a message for you from Diana with her new voice, and she wants to say, Always stay hydrated. That's right, you dirty boy. I don't want to see a goddamn drop of water left in this toilet. You better drink it all up, or I'm going to be pissed. Drink it all up. Oh. He drank it all. Which is a pretty fair effort, considering that it seems to be full of tar. Oh, God. <laughs> now, this does not look particularly safe. Oh, it's a shooting range. Their target's dangling from... from. Oh, so... Okay, so I guess it's okay to crack out a gun and shoot shit now, right? Pew! 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 Oh, what they- they- Oh, they weren't targets, I think. I think they weren't- I think they were air conditioners. Hey bro, what's going on? I'm just gonna borrow this old chromar right here. There's plenty of things that I'd like to- all up in my face, mister! I'll give you all up in my face. <laughs> and then I'm going to take your outfit, thank you very much. And then, in the name of science, I'm going to toss you over the side of this building, because I've always wondered how long it takes for a human body to hit the ground from 50 million feet. <laughs> Above ground level. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, wow, this is, this is quite a, oh, 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 he hit something. He hit something. Guess we'll never know, though. There's probably not much of him left down there after that. Oh, what? There's a party over here. I freaking love parties. What's going on, everyone? I'm with the, uh, I'm with the tech crew. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nobody flinched. Wait, hold on. Isn't this the dude from Paris? This is the dude from Paris. Greetings, sir. Greetings. I never liked your outfits. Oh, now this is a nice looking area. Speaking of which, where the hell am I? Meeting room, security room, storage room, server room, maintenance pen. Well, all I see here is death room. All right, penthouse key card. That's probably going to come in hand. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you about the uh, oh, lockdown oh. drill tomorrow. Oh. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms. <laughs> Oh, I like that new head penetrating bullet sound. Oh, well, that sounds a little bit too good. I'm going to be shooting everyone in the face now. And it seems that somehow I've made my way to directly beneath my other target. Hey! Oh, no. This is too noisy for a silenced gun. What the hell, bro? How did you not hear any of the kerfuffle that just went on in the room behind you? Oh my God, what's that coming out of his mouth? Oh God, is that... Is that a birthmark? Is that where I hit him with the hat? What? Why are you holding your balls? Ah, huh. a winch connected to a ginormous lighting display that I can undoubtedly drop on top of someone. Shame that the only target I've got left is upstairs. Oh well, not gonna let this opportunity pass me by. Who'd I hit? Oh, that guy. 
Epic. And now that I stole the penthouse key card from the security office, I can just swipe myself right on in. Hey, big boy, I'm here for the zucchini party. You dare <clears throat> Now to hide the dead body in the freezer. And hold on just a second. According to my map, the dining room is on the other side of this wall, which leads me to believe that there's probably a way for me to poison my other target, though I don't have any more emetic poison on... Hey, God damn it. I need a medic... Po oh. Oh. Okay, that changes everything. What's going on, chef? I, uh... uh come to assist you in your daily duties. No, sorry, sir, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now, okay? Yeah, I have a have a tendency of doing that. All right, gonna need to get the chef out of here. And this ice machine seems like the perfect thing to do it. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> it's going to prepare right here, put a little bit of celery with some uh, octopus tentacles, a rotten, I mean, raw salmon, and uh, a little bit of poison. That's the special recipe you see. It's like that fugu fish. Just gotta put the right amount, not too much. Otherwise, terrible things would happen, but that looks perfect. Great. Okay, let's ring the old bell. You can eat now, bitch. Hey, Mr. Ingram, how are you? I've prepared a, uh, a traditional uh, Dubaian United Arab Emirates culinary treat for you. Would you like to join me? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, wh where should I sit? On your lap? Look at that. He's going for the first bite. Mmm. How did that tantalize the taste buds? Well, that doesn't sound good. Good. Oh, wow. Oh, shh. Oh, you need to change your grollies after that. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. Looking good today, sir. Thanks, mate. You're looking good too, especially that bald patch. All right, so Mr. Ingram's busy chundering up in the bathroom. Just wait for the uh, door to close. Okay. Take care of Tweedledee and Tweedle Dumbass. And now <sighs> head on in here and uh, got a message for you, Mr. Ingram. And that message is to always stay hydrated. That's right, you dirty boy. Drink it all up. Drink up that tarry water. Oh, you better not leave a goddamn drop in there. I'm gonna be really up. Oh. You drank it all. Yeah, people here really like to drink. Oh, it's not tar, it's oil. Well, now it makes perfect sense. So at this point, literally everybody's dead, but I feel like there are probably more fun, interesting, and exciting ways for me to brutally murder my targets. And you know what that means, don't you? It means that I've already got another video where I complete every single one of the mission stories in Dubai. But because I'm only allowed to upload a 15 minute video before the game's official release, you're just going to have to wait. See you later, Dubai. It's been real. Real freaking epic.